Hey folks, welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Word, the first Wednesday Word of 2021. Uh, This past Sunday at Fort Thomas was uh, an important Sunday for us. It was not only the first service of a new year, but it was also the last service that we are holding in the place we've called home since September of 2015. The last service we uh, will hold in the event center, and then Lord willing, on Sunday, January 17th, we will hold our very first service in our own space that we've been building out uh, over 2020, and it's just about done. So we're super excited. I preached uh, from 1 Samuel chapter 7, and uh, what I want to focus on specifically is verse 12, but just as a quick recap, uh, here's what happened in the verses preceding that. So Samuel calls the people of God to repent of their idolatrous ways and to cast off their idols, and the people do so. Uh, He then gathers them together and judges them. They confess their sin. They serve uh, God and God alone and and, uh, commit to doing that. During that time, the Philistines hear that the people of God have gathered together, and they want to take advantage of the opportunity to attack them. And so they gather together and they start uh, moving in towards uh, the Israelites. And um, the people of God cry out to Samuel and say, pray to God on our behalf that the Lord would save us. And Samuel uh, gets a lamb, sacrifices it unto the Lord uh, in an act of worship and uh, prays for the people. And uh, God, it says, Let's out a thunderous sound. Uh, I don't know exactly what that might sound like, but it was such that it would throw the Philistines into confusion, and they were basically incapacitated and unable to attack the people of God. And then after that, the people of God go forth and attack the Philistines, and then after that, God restores to the people the cities that had been taken in days gone by. And so God not only answers Samuel's prayer, but goes well beyond it and gives them uh, infinitely more than they asked for and certainly more than they uh, deserved. And in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 12, uh, it says that Samuel took a stone, uh, which he called an Ebenezer, which means stone of help, and he said, till now the Lord has helped us. Till now, the Lord has helped us. And so what I focused on at Fort Thomas, and what I would call to your attention, is the two words, till now. Sometimes God does an amazing work in our lives, and we are unbelievably aware of the fact that God has helped us. God has answered our prayer. God has uh, done something great and shown himself to be mighty and true. That's not exactly what Samuel says, though, right? He He doesn't say, now the Lord has helped us. Um, now, now that he's done this good thing, he has helped us up till now, not so much, but now the Lord has helped us. No, Samuel says till now, up until this point, the Lord has been helpful. He's been good. He's been faithful. He didn't need to do this great thing that he did for us to be helpful. He's always been helpful. He's always been good. Um, but till now the Lord has helped us. So including what he's just done, but even in days gone by, even in difficult times. And so for us at the Fort Thomas campus, it's not that God has been good to us now because he's given us a place that we can call like our forever home. And we've built out a space that's custom built for us. The first space we've ever had that was built with us in mind. It's not a movie theater. It's not an event center. It's literally a church building. But God has been faithful to us and helped us all along the way from 2013 in a movie theater into an event center and right up to the point now where we would get our uh, our facility. And so I want to challenge you to think through that. Till now, the Lord has helped us. What about you? Do you say, till now the Lord has helped us? Or does it depend upon what he most recently did? And you say, okay, now he's good. Because we need to be able to look back upon our lives, the good times, the bad, the uh, easy times, the difficult times. And we need to be able to say, Till now, the Lord has helped us. He's always been helpful. He's always been faithful. Yes, perhaps especially now uh, in uh, providing for us in a unique way, in an exciting way, whatever that way might be for you. But let's not just say, now the Lord has helped us. That's true. But let's also acknowledge, 
He's been helping us. He's been good. He's been faithful and true. Not just now the Lord has helped us, but till now, all the days of our lives, God has shown himself to be merciful and kind and gracious and patient and long-suffering and just unbelievably consistently good for his glory and for our good. And so it's my hope and my prayer that you, along with the Fort Thomas campus, regardless of what your situations might be right now, personally, uh, in your work, in your family, that you'd be able to look to the Lord even now, even amidst these circumstances, and be able to say, till now, the Lord has helped us.